Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar series, Witness the Competency. Today, we're going to be talking about smart cities. So my guest is our product manager, Mrs. Bosheski. She's been working for Havasa more than 10 years. So she's got a lot of things to tell us about smart cities. So hello again, Bishra, how are you? Hello, uh, I'm a little bit excited to be in here and thank you for your, your inviting me to this You're event. You're welcome. So you have a lot of things to tell us today. So let's get started without further ado. So I want to start with definitions. What is a smart city? Smart city uses the technology for life make easier for the people uh, who live in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, it uses the things like sensors, cameras, etc. and they give the people information. For example, when you wake up in the morning, you want to know when the bus is coming. We collect the data, uh, we schedule it, we analyze it and serve the people knows. So from citizen's perspective, every citizen wants to plan ahead in time their daily routine. So they need some data or they need some uh, mechanism, smart mechanism for helping them plan their daily routine, huh? For example, you have a meeting at morning and you want to know which way is empty. Is the fastest route. Yeah, yeah, fastest route. We always use these systems. When you use the maps, mm -hmm. you want to know what, which one is the fastest route. In this place, you collect the data and analyzing data and the sort of it gives the people information. Actually, it gives people comfort as well yeah, because sure. people don't love uncertainty. Yeah. So they want to know what's what's next. Yeah. So smart city concept is actually helping them, huh? Absolutely. OK, great. Maybe we can continue with the safety mm -hmm. concepts also. Yeah, that's a good point because our product family, we named our product family as smart and safe cities. And I checked the literature and everyone does the same. Smart and safe cities are associated with each other. So how do you uh, comment Actually, on this? Firstly, I want to explain this. What is the safe city? Mm -hmm. Safe city is a very important point for the people mm -hmm. and for citizens, for tourists who visit the cities. Because when you walk around at midnight or morning, uh, you want to know you are a safe zone. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you know the hierarchy, which one? Maslow. Uh, yeah, Maslow. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Maslow hierarchy. The first step is all about safety. Yes, this is a good point. Mm -hmm. uh, always you want to know the safe point. So the rest is just following safety. Yeah, safe city is to prevent the crime or another bad things. Mm -hmm. So safety is also very important for the people. Mm -hmm. So you cannot divide each other. Smart city and safe cities combining. So a good city experience is based on safety, followed by some comfort, things that comforts you, huh? Yes. This is how we combine it. So what are some examples of smart city technologies? So there must be some technologies lying behind the, this concept. So what are they? Actually, there are lots of examples for the uh, smart city technologies. But uh, when you ask me, the first thing is the smart transportation systems. Mm -hmm. Because in uh, many cities, smart city, transportation is very important. Because to... people spend a lot, of, a lot of time commuting to their work, school or somewhere else. Huh? Transportation is very critical. Yeah, and cities getting very crowded. As you know, the world population is increasing and cities are also increasing. So smart transportation is also very important mm -hmm. for the people. For example, in Ankara, as I know, 
approximately 5 million people is, uh, live in this city. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, our products, which is called iMiner, mm -hmm. uh, is started to use in Ankara for smart uh, transportation systems. For what uh, specific use cases? Can, we t can you tell us about it? One of the uh, properties is giving about the population of the buses. Mm -hmm. So it also controls the uh, driver's rule. Mm. We always control the if he's wearing playing a with phone, sa uh, yeah. safety belt or yeah, safety belt mm -hmm. violation or something like that or smoking. Mm -hmm. So we will always con uh, control these systems. Okay, I see. And in a, maybe I can give another example when I uh, checking my cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, smart, uh, smart water management system is also another point for smart city. Mm -hmm. Smart water systems or smart energy systems, uh, because the energy problem is very important also for people. As I said before, world population is increasing and our uh, energy sources are decreasing. So I see that you keep underlining the importance for optimization of resources. Yes, and sustain sustainability. sustainability. Absolutely. So you're saying that smart city concept is not just about safety, it's also about a good resource planning yeah. and optimization of resources such as time or water or something else. Yeah, for these uh, systems. Mm -hmm. You can use products for the uh, managing your sensors. Mm -hmm. It's already integrated million sensors. You think about very big line. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of millions of sensors we control with the harmony. So, going back to our product family, we, I see that we have two examples of products which are related with computer vision. Yeah. And the third one is about IoT. People may seem that may, they may think that this might be a little irrelevant areas, like uh, computer vision is something else, but IoT is something different. How do you combine these two topics? How do, you, how do you think these are related to, with one another? These are like Lego pieces, mm -hmm. different pieces, but you can, com you can use these systems with combining mm -hmm. them. For example, uh, you analyzing uh, computer vision, as, I, as you said, iMiner is a video analytics solution, but Harmony is a IoT platform. When you analyze something or events, it sends to Harmony, and Harmony gives an alarm. Mm -hmm. It's combining like that. I get asked oftentimes this, this specific question, and I keep telling people that Smart Cities is all about data management, collection of data, transforming into a, a, a situation where you can analyze it, and then the outputs of this analysis should be shown to some other decision-making systems. So that's that's actually how I uh, combine computer vision with IoT. Yeah. These two technologies just does the same things in different ways. It's almost like that. Okay. <laughs> Not same thing, different, but... From data very, management perspective, yeah. they're doing just same. collecting data, analyzing it yeah. and actually, producing an uh, output. Actually, with Harmony, you analyze the sensors. Hmm. With iMiner, you analyze the cameras. cameras. Yeah. You are right, camera is a sensor, <laughs> right. Okay, I see. And so, yeah. speaking of these technologies, computer vision, IoT, these are all high-tech things, but I, I have a concern just like everybody, everyone else. So, from cybersecurity perspective, are there any potential concerns with these technologies lying behind smart city concept? People write about their concerns because always you collect the data and you're analyzing data and you uh, you want to know how they secure. Mm -hmm. Cyber security is a very really important mm -hmm. uh, role in here. So in our products, iMiner, Orbit and Harmony, are we taking this into consideration in our product development phase? I mean, the cyber security perspective, are we also you know, doing something about it? As you know, we have a cyber security department in Havasan. Mm -hmm. So we always work together. Mm -hmm. We collect data, we analyzing data, but 
uh, cyber security is always is at the very heart of it, huh? Yeah, always. Always heart of it. Okay. So speaking of other concerns, some also people have some concerns as well, like um, violation of privacy, basically. Yeah. Uh, how do you assess this point? I mean, are, are people right about it or are just, you know, uh, it's, is it unnecessary to think about it? What do you think? Maybe they are right, but uh, if you want to have a smart city mm -hmm. or safe city, you have to take some uh, risks. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Without video surveillance systems, without analytic systems, you cannot get the uh, smart city or mm -hmm. safe city. So all in all, returns are higher than risks. Yeah. Earlier on, we discussed about the technologies behind the smart city concept. So I just want to hear about the solid applications of smart city examples. Can you give us some? In many municipalities, they use the smart city applications. Mm -hmm. For example, smart water management systems. Mm -hmm or smart parking huh? systems smart parking systems okay yeah smart energy systems smart lighting when you walk a, a street you see the smart water management system sensors uh, works like rainy day it doesn't work it doesn't uh, if it's very sunny day it works so nowadays water is a big problem for humanity so it's good to save water for yeah. irrigation purposes yeah absolutely. and i know that our solution gives us almost 50% savings on water consumption. Huh? Yeah, it's very important for the municipality or governments. You save energy, you save your money, you save your uh, world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, what about in terms of safety? What are some uh, solid applications in terms of safety? Video surveillance, surveillance systems. It's very important for the safe city mm -hmm. because in everywhere they, there are many cameras mm -hmm. and for example police departments always watching them because when some uh, crime happens they want to get a footage of yeah yeah so event. they it's very important and here I want to talk about our one of the our applications and our products which could be called Orbit. Mm -hmm. Orbit a video it's a video management system. system. Yeah, we already use uh, it in Turkey in uh, Edwin City, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we already supported more than a hundred cameras. Mm -hmm. So everyone is curious about Orbit. So how do you uh, how do you feel yourself about Orbit? Because I know that there are a lot of products in the competition, and how does Orbit differentiate itself from the others? It is a very important product for Turkey and I think for the world because we are already integrated uh, more than 15 NVRs mm -hmm. with these systems. We always work and already tested uh, many times mm -hmm. because in Turkey... So uh, how many cameras are connected to our system? More than 8,000 and 2,000 users online. Okay. That's a huge endorsement. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. And uh, also, I want to say something about that. Uh, we have a good feedback. So you're saying it's that improving. you're good. Also, <laughs> you're good at supporting your product in the yeah. field. And I want to also talk about another application for safe city mm -hmm. emergency notification systems. When some emergency happened, for example, with a video analytic system, mm -hmm. as I minor recall, they immediately give an alarm like that and i also want to check again my cheat sheet <laughs> because i don't want to miss anything mm -hmm. uh, and, and we have loads of analytics in i minor so you need yeah. your cheat sheet yeah for example in i minor we have gun detection fire detection fall detection fall detection virtual detection. zoning yeah virtual zoning is very mm -hmm. important systems analytics mm -hmm. and also Car detection, plate recognition, mm -hmm. also face recognition. There are lots of uh, analytics in I minor, mm -hmm. and I minor is also used at police department. Mm -hmm. I minor is a very different product, I think, because it's also used at smart city and is also used at safe city. Mm -hmm. It's so together. It's at the very heart of the problems, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I minor is important for us. Not everything is great in terms of smart cities there are some downsides or let's not say downsides but there are some concerns in people's minds yeah. so people are concerned about the uh, privacy exactly yeah. so how do you comment on this everything comes with a price mm -hmm. 
If you want a safe city, if you want a, a smart city, you have to some privacy concerns. Mm -hmm. But cybersecurity is very important in here. Mm -hmm. Hawansan has a department, cybersecurity department. And I so, have a product family called cybersecurity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, in all our products, we work with the cyber uh, security mm -hmm. because it's very important. Save your data. So regardless of what product we're developing, we always take cyber security into consideration yes. in the product development phase. And yeah. iMiner Orbit Harmony is no exception to this. So people should not be concerned about it at all. Yeah. Always there are some probability about the <laughs> little probability, but not too much. It's good to know that people are safe. Yeah, people in terms are of unsafe. cyber security. And everybody use their phones. Mm -hmm. They already take the pictures and they share it online. Yeah, share online. So I think it's not very, very big problem for the people. Mm -hmm. But I think sometimes I think so. sharing online is worse than this case. Yeah. I guess. We already discussed about iMiner and Orbit, but let's just not forget about Harmony, our third player in our uh, product family. Yeah. So what is it? What is Harmony? We already talked a little bit Harmony because when we, we talk about smart city, when we talk about the sensors, mm -hmm. we never pass the Harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, Harmony is an IoT platform. Million sensors already integrated with systems, and it's also very important for the Turkey. As you know, the Botash, mm -hmm. it is a pipeline uh, security systems. Harmony is already used in there. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, there is a line, and there are lots of sensors. When some uh, when the sensors get an alarm or some get an uh, data, they send to Harmony, and you can you you can control these systems from Harmony. Mm -hmm. This is a, it's have a dashboard mm -hmm. and also they, it's a uh, management system. Mm -hmm. You can manage your sensors in here. For example, control your endpoints, yep. send some policies, I guess, huh? Also right. some, send some configurations to endpoints, yeah. to your sensors. Control your systems, sensors or uh, sometimes watching your cameras or sometimes you're watching your sensors. Mm. It's all about from the harmony. Okay, I see. Yeah. So Bishra, thank you very much for your valid information you gave us today about smart cities. So any last words before we close? And as you know, my words never ends. <laughs> yes, I want <laughs> to say a little uh, more thing. Our products, Orbit, Harmony and iMiner is a very important place in at smart city mm -hmm. and safe city concepts. I hope next time I can give more example and more reference uh, for our products. And I also I wish a better life for every person in the world mm -hmm. uh, for to live in a smart and safe city. Everyone deserves to live in a smart yeah, city. Absolutely. It's not luxury, it's, the, it's, it's just a must have thing, huh? Yeah. And Nowadays. thank you for this opportunity to You're sell welcome. my products. Our pleasure. So see you soon, Bishar. Thanks. So today we talked about smart cities and technology is lying behind it. We started with definitions. We also covered the people's concerns, some solid applications in the field, and we covered it all. So thank you very much for watching us. Please stay tuned for the following episodes. Check out our website for the detailed programs. See you soon.